I've got a lot to show you. I've been busy. Trying to work on getting my stock kind of built up. And I've been succeeding in that some. But I don't know. I'm going to have to explain this a little bit. So I've been working on building up some of my stuff. Like little mini jack there. Thought that was cool. I come across these little pumpkins. Make a little mini jack. Something quick. You know, no problem. Awesome. Build my stock up as I'm doing your custom request. That's cool. So then, uh, of course, you know, my creative mind starts wandering as usual. Focus. Fo focus. Right, I'm back. So then I decided, what else should I put on a little pumpkin? So that's pretty cool, right? I made that one to put on the Etsy page. But... Before I even got to show anybody, it's it sold. Good problem to have, right? But I'm trying to build up my stock, so I decided to make another one. It's like, well, that worked out pretty good. Let me make another one so I can build my stock up and get some more items up there for everybody, especially, you know, Christmas. I'll be here before you know it, regardless of whether you want to think about it or not. I need to think ahead and make sure I've got plenty of stuff on there. So I made another one. This time with somebody a little different. And and then he wasn't on there very long at all. Just just a couple hours. And and it's sold. <laughs> Again, I'm not, I'm not complaining. It's a good problem to have. So I'm like, all right, okay, okay, I get it. Uh, so I'll, I stopped doing that <laughs> and tried something else. So I decided to work on these skulls. It's these metal skulls. I paint them black and then I put designs on them. So I put this cool design on it. I've done these before. And they sell, seem to sell pretty quick. As of right now, this one is available on the Etsy page. Link is in the description of this video. Or you can find this by going to etsy.com. Look for crazy thing art. You can also Google me. As of the time of me making this video, if you go was to Google crazy thing art and find my Etsy link there in all the little links, you'll see all this stuff, every bit of it, on my Etsy page except for this one coming up because I haven't put it there yet. It's not even really dry all the way and I probably shouldn't even be touching. But I never really do what I'm supposed to do. I don't like rules. So I'm going to show you anyway. It's still drying. It's still a little wet, so I got to be careful. This one's going to get posted on my Etsy page and it's gonna be brand new and I don't know who the first person that sees it will be, but you know, maybe uh, maybe if it's you, you can get it real quick before somebody else does, if you're fast enough. If not, that's okay. I know the guy that makes these, uh, I, I can't do the same exact one twice, even if I try it, none of them are gonna be identical. But there are listings for custom airbrushed metal skulls available. So I can make you one of these if it's not available. But I would like you to go check and see when you get to watch this video, if it's actually there or not, that'd be cool. So as you can see, lots of stuff going in and out. I actually airbrushed a leather jacket yesterday, which I do not get to show you. Sorry, uh, I prepped it that morning, then I airbrushed it after lunch, then I sealed it, told the customer, and since they were local, they came and got it. They, they needed it for a birthday party, so they come and snatched it up. I've got pictures on my Facebook. If you would like to uh, see it, you can go check out those pictures. I did not get a YouTube video of it because I normally do that the next day or after you know everything's clean and dried and 
So my apologies, but it was a skate, uh, skating theme for a, I think, 13-year-old girl. Her leather jacket, she's a really awesome person. Her parents are amazing, and uh, they support me in my work. So I think that's a, at least the third jacket I've done for her. But So can't show you that one. Failure on my own part. Time management, <laughs> it's all part of it. But guys, that's what I got. If you want something from me, go to the Etsy page. If you just want to support me, please comment and hit the like button. Those two combinations, that's gold. Those, that's perfect. If you don't have the finances or you just don't like my work and don't really need anything or want anything, any of that, that's fine. I don't, I don't force people to buy stuff. But you know, if you like and comment on my stuff, whether it's here or my TikTok or my Facebook or my Instagram, any of that, then it pushes my stuff out there for somebody else that might want it. They can see it. You see how that works? So thank you from the bottom of my heart because I wouldn't be here without you. I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.